Hello viewers and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how to create your own Elastic Stack cluster, which will be on GCP or Google Cloud platform. So for this purpose, I prepared some files and tools, uh, which you can find links for download in the description of this video. Of course, as you know, Elastic Stack contains Elasticsearch, Logstash, Kibana, and uh, Filebeat in most cases. So this will be main focus of the tools in this video. Um, of course, at the time of recording, we will use the latest version, which is 8.10.2. And now with uh, all that intro, let's jump in to the real work. So I'll open this instructions file and check what it says. So first step is to open Google Console, Google Cloud Console. I already have an account and of course a project. So this is something that you can easily configure for yourself. And okay, go ahead and just go to Compute Engine. And check the instruction file. What it says, create three virtual machines in GCP. Two nodes should be for the Elasticsearch and one node for Workstash and Kibana. Okay. So let's create them. First node will be called yes node one. And because I'm in Europe, I'll choose something close to me, doesn't matter, it will be E2 medium, of course uh, if you need it, uh, if you need Elast Elasticsearch for uh, development or something like this, you can check the Elasticsearch document, official documentation in Elastic.io to check the requirements. This is just a playground, so I would use the minimum requirements. Uh, here I would change the operating system. I would choose Ubuntu, the latest LTS, which is 2204. So, okay. And of course, I have to allow the HTTP and HTTPS traffic. And this should be enough for our machine. So create it. After a few seconds. You have the machine already provisioned. Okay, it's ready now. So go to the creation of the other nodes. I'll open the already created machine from the name of the first node. And here I just can click create similar. Okay, it will be ES nodes 2. As you see, everything else is like the first machine, so here I'll just click create.
and the third one create similar change the name it's not three and create okay the machines are up and running now so I can check the instructions file which says to download the putty gen and create sh public key which is the next step I I have a putty gen so I will just open it as I said in the beginning you can download it in the from the links in the description so open the generator and click generate here I will just move the mouse randomly to create the random public key okay we have it here will be the username which I will use in the machines so I will choose yes GCP okay and now I can just copy this go to the console and here I have to find SSH service SSH key service of course and add SSH key paste and save after a few seconds it will be available for all the instances in your instances top okay now next step is to save the private key so click save private key I will not protect it with the uh, fast phrase, so just yes. And call it the same ESGCP. And put it on the desktop. In this case. So we are ready here. Close this and go to the instructions file again. Okay, connect to the nodes. The root, the user root. Okay. For this purpose, I'll use uh, putty And what we need here is external IP address of the nodes, which can be copied from here. So from for the first node is this one. In front, I'll put one at and the username which I choose. Okay. And uh, something uh, important I need authorization with private key, so go to SH out and credentials here browse and choose the saved private key open accept and we are ready with the connection on the to the first node let's connect to the second node So again, put in. At yes, GCP. Search authorization credentials. Choose key. Okay. 
Set. And third node. Okay, so we connect it to our three nodes. Let's check what the instructions file says. So we have to change the user to super user or root. And of course, update the operating system. Okay, and the okay, the three nodes are already now and continue with the instructions file first step is like it says to install Elasticsearch on first and second node so copy this first node download and the second node same. Next step is to unhive it. Takes some time. Okay, we are ready now. So let's check what the file says. We will not use HTTPS TLS security to keep the things simple. It will be topic for another video. Um, I prefer to use uh, to keep the things simple in this video, so I will not use the security tools on Elasticsearch in this case. With that said, let's continue with the configuration. So we have to open Elasticsearch YAML file. and comment in the security section. You can delete it, but if you use it uh, in future, you need these parameters. Okay. And I'll put this configuration. This is for saying that we will not use Xbox security. And this is just a configuration of the Elasticsearch where you have to provide the internal IP address of our nodes. Of course, if you want, you can put it in the places right here. So cluster name, node name, and so on. But in this case, for the purpose of the video, I'll just put it in the end. So what we have here, cluster name, node name, and here we have to put yes, node one internal IP. So I go to console. 
is not one internal IP copied paste is for the network host here is cover seat and for master nodes. Okay. Um, of course, because our cluster is with two nodes, here we will need a second node internal IP. If you have more than two, just count them here. Okay. Okay, so we are ready here. The name is yes, not one. Okay, everything looks good. Yes, and now start Elasticsearch on this node. It takes a while. Okay. Let's check the status. It's up and running. So if uh, in any reason uh, Elasticsearch doesn't start, you can check the log files and uh, find the reason. Uh, the log files appears here. Um, let's bar walk and the name of the cluster which is GCP yes cluster dot walk so this is the walk but everything looks good here so now let's curl the local host just to check that everything is fine As you see, the node is up and running. Okay. And it's time to configure the second node. Second node, same steps. First, so nano, nano file. Command the security section. And copy and paste these parameters okay we have yes node 2 the same cluster switch off the security and network host will be internal IP address of the second node Okay. Here. 
end here. And of course for the discovery and master nodes we will need the first node, internal IP. Okay, should be enough. Now, system still start Elasticsearch. And wait a while. Okay, check the status. Seems up and running. Let's grow it. Okay. And now we can check the cluster health this way. Okay, I just finished the Elasticsearch cluster configuration and now it's time to go to GCP and um, give an access to Elasticsearch from the external IPs on these two nodes in our cluster. Okay. Go here and go to firewall here okay so we we'll need it and here just click create firewall rule the name of the rule will be Elasticsearch, description is not needed. The name uh, should be with uh, our case. Okay. Ingress, allow. And name the tag Elasticsearch. Okay. The range will be 0 0.0.0.0 slash 0. Here, TCP and UDP 92.00 and 93.00. Here the same. Okay, create. And now we have it. So go to the machines again. And on the first note, go to edit. And here in network tax, I put Elasticsearch. Okay, save. And now we have to have an access from external IP to ES Node 1 on port 92. 00 and 9300. Okay, let's check it. Okay, 
This is the external IP. Go here in the browser. 9200. And yes, we have an access, as you see. So the same have to be done with ES nodes too. Which is our second node on the Elasticsearch. Okay. Here. Okay. Save and we are ready here. Okay, go to VM instances and let's prepare node 3 which will contain our workstash and Kibana. So minimize it and open node 3 here as it says install workstash. First we need Java, so I'll get install GRE. Yes. Okay. Java is ready. You can check it with Java. Okay, we have it installed. Go ahead and uh, download the workstash package. Okay, it's downloaded and archive it. Go to the workstash ammo file and edit it. So, this will be changed to true. Comment and change to true. Okay. So, we are ready here. Yes, enter. And next step is to add in the pipelines YAML. So copy and paste. I'll just delete these two lines and put what we have here. So for our purpose, the pipeline ID will be GCP Workstash and will appear here in etc Workstash conf d gcp workstash dot conf. Okay, save and yes. Now go and create GCP Workstash conf. Put this ones in it. This is configuration for Workstash, which means that Workstash will wait for uh, events which will come on port 5050 from external addresses, and you can filter it some way. And of course, after this uh, intervention. The output will be Elasticsearch, which will save the information in it. Here we need 
yes not one internal ip so delete this not one internal IP paste it here the quotes are a little bit more so I'll edit it and here we need 9200 port the same with the second node okay second node The port, of course, and this will go to the index with name GCP, ES, and today date. Okay, so close this. Save, and now let's start to stash. Let's check its status. As you see, it's up and running, but let's check the Oxtash walk to see if there's any errors. Okay. Maybe the name is different walk stash plane dot walk okay already did in the file and enter as you see, we don't have any errors. We have five points running, which is one with name GCP Walkstash. So, okay. We have uh, already running uh, Walkstash right now. And go ahead to the installation of Kibana. So, what we have to do here is to open port 5601 on node 3 so okay go to the GCP and firewall create firewall rule and I'll call it Kibana. The same like before. Kibana. Zero, 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 zero. Slash zero. And open TCP and UDP on port 5601. Create the rule. Okay. The rule is ready right now. Go to the third node and uh, assign it. Third node. Edit and here Kibana rule Kibana tag save
and that's it for this step okay we are open at the port and now it's time to install Kibana download the package Okay, package is downloaded and now I have it. Not this, this. Now go to the Kibana configuration YAML. and find server host okay and comment it and put the internal IP address of node 3 right here okay next one is to go to to find Elasticsearch hosts same steps here it will be is yes, not one internal IP and port of course here you can count the other node but in this case I will use just the first node okay and here we finished with the Kibana configuration exit and save system CTO start Kibana check the status okay and let's check it to browser should be third node external IP and port Kibana which is 5601 the default one as you can see we have Kibana already here up and running here I just click export on my own so here we can check um, cluster metrics within stack monitoring and setup monitoring with self monitoring turn on monitoring you can do it with metric bit but in this case we will not use it okay 
Okay. And here you can see that we have two nodes. Yes, node one is master node. And of course the Kibana monitoring. Where we have one instance. Of course we can put the box touch, but in this case we don't need it here. Okay, so go ahead. Okay, the next step is to download uh, FileBeat, which is the same version like the whole stack. Save it on desktop. Okay, and I'll have it again on desktop. And I'll just change the name to just file bit. Enter and find the file bit YAML file, which is configuration. Now go ahead and change this to true. For the paths, comment the first line and Take the second from, in my case, will be my desktop. Okay. Go forward and comment the Elasticsearch output. And go to the Workstash output and and comment it. As the document says, we need node 3 public IP address, which is important, and port 5050. So 5050 and go to the console and take third node public IP address okay so we are already here safe and close Check the file. Okay. The next step is to create one folder which will be called Vox. And in this folder, I'll just put our example file with Vox, which you downloaded in the beginning of the video. And here, I should just open PowerShell. Change the directory to file bit. Enter on this command. This will harvest the file and sends it to the workstash for future process processing. 
and Workstash will send it to the Elasticsearch. Okay, so let's check it in the Kibana. So go to Stack Management, after that Index Management, and as you see, we have it GCPS 2023 10th 03rd. Okay. Now let's create Kibana view. And here in data views, create data view, and this will be. GCP ES star and timestamp and call it GCP ES. Save data with Kibana. And we are already here. Go to Elastic, go to Discover. So here are all the events or works from our example file. As you can see, there are something like 10,000. We can expand this and see what we have here. As you see, my computer name, where is agent and of course, the other fields in the work. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you for watching.